we boosted one of our clients website conversion rates from 1.4% to 7.6%. That's a 5.4 times increase in the number of conversions from the same amount of traffic. Although we actually did increase the traffic as well. We did all of this using pay-per-click in a highly competitive industry. And in this video, we're gonna break down the principles that we used so that you can apply some of these lessons to your own campaigns. But first, let's set the scene for you. When DSLD Mortgage came on board with Exposure Ninja as a client, they were struggling to stand out in a highly competitive industry industry mortgages. Now they weren't doing badly by any means, but they knew that they could do more and we knew that they could do more online. The first thing that we did is build them a whole new website. I'm not going to go into the process behind this, but we dug into what their customers really wanted and loved about them and rebuilt the website with that in mind. We then got to work helping them turn their struggling Pmax campaign, you know that feeling, into a lead generating powerhouse. How? Well, we did this in three steps. These steps aren't easy, but the concepts behind them are pretty simple. And by the way, if you're new to building PPC strategies, then you might wanna check out our guide after this video, how to design PPC strategies. You can just Google how to design PPC strategies, Exposure Ninja, and you'll find it. Or you can click the link in the description. Anyway, the three steps that we used to improve DSLD's campaign and improve their conversion rate. Step number one was all about audience targeting. Anyone can build a sandcastle, but there are sandcastles and sandcastles. And anyone can run a PPC campaign, but there are PPC campaigns and then there are PPC campaigns that are so well targeted and run by ninjas that they can compete and generate huge ROIs even in a competitive market. And that's exactly what it was gonna take to compete in this market. Now, we're all used to being targeted with ads online that are completely irrelevant. You see the ad and you think, why are they wasting their time running this ad to me? But we've also seen ads that are so well targeted, it feels a little bit creepy. And people even get paranoid that their phone is listening to conversations they've had with people the day before because all of a sudden then they see an ad for that thing. Now, as a marketer, that's kind of what you want. You want your audience to feel so stunned that the ad you're showing them is so perfectly matching what they want that the likelihood of them converting goes way up. Now the key to doing this is to find a really specific audience and run a really specific campaign to that audience. But before we could do that, we needed to identify which audience was gonna be the best one to target. So of course we talked to DSLD to find out what their best customers were. We did competitor analysis to see what types of ads and which audiences other mortgage competitors were running. We did our own keyword research. We had a look at the conversion data. We also paid attention to some of the search terms that people weren't running ads for on Google or that there were really bad ads being run against. This could show us some high value gaps that we might be able to target. After all of this research, we identified a very specific audience which we thought we could get really good traction with. In this case, it was the ex-military community that were looking to take out a mortgage. And as DSLD has a VA loan that's specifically targeted to this audience, this was the perfect fit. Now, of course, we could have cast a really wide net and tried to advertise to everybody who wants a mortgage. But the downside of that approach is that actually that large audience is made of lots of smaller audiences. If we went after a specific audience with a specific message, we were much more likely to get the click, get the conversion, and eventually, for DSLD to be able to make that sale. So of course on the website, we made sure that the landing pages were very highly targeted to this audience using imagery, using language that would really make sense and resonate with them. Now we also used this language and the imagery in the ads that we were running. So we were running ads on Pmax, which were across search and display. So far so good. Nicely targeted ads run at nicely targeted landing pages. Sweet. Now that's all great, but we needed to run our ads to the right audience, veterans who wanted a mortgage. And that's not actually that simple to do, if you think about it. So we didn't wanna just run our ads to military veterans because not many of them will be wanting a mortgage right now. We also didn't necessarily wanna run our ads just to people who wanted a mortgage because not many of them would be military veterans. So we get a very low click-through rate if our ads are talking about veterans so that's gonna push up our ad cost. What we really wanted was people in the intersection of these two circles on the Venn diagram, the veterans that wanted a mortgage. So how do we find them? Well, we did this in three ways. Firstly, DSLD had a bunch of customer data, first party customer data that they collected. 
and we fed this to Google and said, we essentially want more customers like this. Combine this with the Google Ads AI inherent in Performance Max and our own keyword research, which found terms that were specific to military veterans, and we started to build up an audience of people that we could target, who, by the way, were most likely to convert, because that's kind of really important. After this good start, we were getting clicks from the right audience with the right level of intent. But of course, there were still people clicking on the ads that weren't the right audience or the weren't right intent, but generally much fewer of those than if we'd had a very broad targeted campaign. But to take this to the next level, we decided to add some location targeting. And this proved to be a massive unlock. For this audience, veterans that needed a mortgage, location targeting proved to be key. The ninjas came up with a genius trick to target the ads at radiuses around military bases, knowing that they'd have a higher proportion of military veterans there. Now, of course, we did this by conducting lots of research and campaigns like this are really heavy on research. So if you're looking at this thinking, oh my gosh, I just don't have the time for this or I don't have the specialized knowledge to be able to apply this type of thing into an ad campaign, don't worry. Most marketing managers and business owners don't. That's why they lose out to PPC specialists who do this all day, every day. And by the way, if you're watching this thinking, I could really do with some help from the ninjas, then what you can do first is request a free website and marketing review from us at exposureninja.com forward slash review. If you let us know in the form that you'd like us to review your pay-per-click account, we can actually get our pay-per-click team to take a look inside your campaigns and make some suggestions on how to improve them. This service is completely free and it's awesome, but not everyone is eligible. So you do need to apply for this. And to do that, you need to go to exposureninja.com forward slash review. And by the way, I'd do it right now. Back to our location targeting. So we identified certain military bases where a radius around them had a high concentration of military VES, and we ran our ads to that. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but we're not really a location-based business. No, neither is the client. In fact, I remember a few years ago, we had a client that sold fancy shoes. Now these fancy shoes were sold online, so there was no location element to the business, but we found that we got a much higher ROI with our shopping ads if we targeted those shopping ads at certain very specific postcodes in London. These were the sorts of people that bought fancy shoes and for price wasn't a barrier, it was actually a signal of quality. So whilst logic might tell you that if you wanna buy fancy shoes, you wanna buy fancy shoes wherever you're based, we got a much higher ROAS and ROI if we targeted shopping ads at specific areas. So refining our ad targeting using this location information actually improved lead generation by 200%. And most importantly, the influx of new inquiries were high quality because they were the right audience. Of course, all of this takes work and it takes research. We didn't get to these insights immediately. We got them through testing, analysis, and research. We got them through looking at competitors, what they were doing well, what they were doing poorly, thinking about how we'd approach this campaign based on our learnings from other campaigns in completely different markets for totally different clients. This stuff is simple, but it's not necessarily easy. But in our experience, lots of businesses have this type of opportunity to take a non-traditional approach to their advertising, which can yield massive improvements in results. This also isn't a one and done thing. And as we started getting data from the PPC, we continued to refine and optimize the landing pages. We tested different benefits in the ad copy to see what would resonate and then reflected those benefits on the landing pages. For example, doing things like explaining that we'd helped over 2000 veterans get a mortgage and making it clear that there would be no down payment required and reassuring customers that they'd be able to commit to their home with confidence. By continually refining and optimizing the landing pages based on the signals we were getting from the campaign, that allowed us to push that conversion rate even higher. Now, plenty of businesses drive their pay-per-click traffic to a less than optimized page. Sometimes they drive their PPC traffic to a service page, which can be fine if your service or product page is well optimized. For some PPC criminals, they drive their traffic to their home page, which is rare 
fairly ideal unless your homepage has been really well set up. You've got a very straightforward product offering that you can explain clearly on your homepage and you have a single target audience. Most of the time though, driving PPC traffic to a page that isn't specifically designed for that traffic reduces your ad quality score, reduces the performance of the traffic because people get lost, they forget what they're here for, they can't see what was offered in the ad, etc., and they end up not converting at as high a rate. So, results. Our target cost per acquisition was $60. We got it down to $34. We bumped conversion rate from 1.4% to 7.6%. Our 12 month goal for mortgage inquiries from PPC was 78, but we generated 521 inquiries in four months. Speaking totally honestly, generating these sorts of results give us an immense sense of validation. So you can apply these same sort of principles to your marketing as well. We started by doing our homework, in this case, identifying segments of the audience which would be more likely to respond favorably that we could target very narrowly. Then we laser focused our campaigns on this audience. You can do this too, using your first party data to feed Google and say, we want more customers like this. Using keyword research to identify the phrases that have the highest chance of converting. And then of course, perhaps overlaying that location information if there is any sort of location skew that indicates that customers might be more likely to buy your product or service. If it's not location information, it might be demographic information, it might be different websites that they visit or whatever. And then finally, we created and continually optimized landing pages to make sure that they specifically targeted this audience with the messages that they were most likely to resonate with. Now, whilst these steps are simple, this stuff isn't easy and it does require reps and time spent, but it's definitely worth the effort. And by the way, if you're looking to improve the performance of your landing pages, check out this video. And let me know in the comments, how are you going to improve the niche targeting in your marketing strategy? Best comment wins a prize. Even if that prize is just an improvement in your own PPC results. Until next time, see you soon.